Lady, I will win this tournament for you. Nay, I will win for you. My lady, may I present Count Ademar, winner of the Joust in France and high champion at saint emilion All such moments forgotten and standing before the most beautiful woman in Christendom. Do you only pretend to fight, Count Ademar? Or do you wage real war as well? I am leader of the free companies. My army's in southern France, for the moment. Jeff, tis my lady. Oh, jeez, you William, you aim too high. Oh, if there's another way to aim, I don't know it. Concentrate. What shall I say to her? What do you think of the joust? It's very abrupt. <laughs> but I'm afraid I don't understand the rules. Then I shall educate you. A match is three lances. One point is awarded for breaking a lance on a man between the waist and neck. Two points for breaking on the helmet. It's difficult. The helmet sweeps back. Most blows glance off, leaving the lance unbroken. And three points for bearing a rider to the ground. Also, should you bear a rider to the ground, you win his horse. And do men die in the joust? The lance's points are tipped with coronals. This blunts them. Of course, accidents happen. I, myself, Jocelyn, have never been unhorsed. Nor have I. Your name, lady. I still need to hear it. Sir Hunter, you persist. Or perhaps angels have no names, only beautiful faces. And you are? Well, I am, um... You've forgotten? Or your name is Sir Um? <laughs> Ulrich, von Lichtenstein from Gelderland. Oh, I'd forget as well. What a mouthful. <laughs> your armor, sir. What about it? How stylish of you to joust in an antique. You'll start a new fashion if you win. My grandfather will be able to wear his in public again. And a shield. How quaint. <laughs> Some of these poor country knights. A little better than peasants.